Okay, and welcome back to Java Programming. There's some things I need to go over with you um, before we continue with the course, and I just realized I made some errors in posting assignments in the course, so let's go over that. So we're going to talk about attendance, daily attendance, assignments, uh, class materials, course materials, submitting work, and um, these are the ways you can communicate with me. All right, so let's go ahead and I, I log. I created an account, a test account, to show you what it looks like. So when you log into the course for Schoology, this is the screen that you will see. Okay, and you will need to go ahead and click on courses, go down to where it says the name of the course, which is CS two hundred one section one. And this is the course home. And when you're here, you're presented with the items you need to do for the course. The course materials folder has uh, different items like the chapters you need to read. Um, here is a book that I will be referring to, but the main books would be these here. Um, this is the IDE that you need to use to your Java work and you click on that and it will open up the uh, the link oh no that's actually the uh, the software that you will need to download if you wanted to do it at home um, and this is the online editor that we will be using for this course um, and there it is there okay now I will be having daily attendance um, and this is a simple question. You click it on here, click on it there. These are just really simple questions. The purpose of these questions or the attendance is to just see how often you log into the course. Um, this is a daily course, and you will be required to log in every day. Okay? All right, click on materials to go back to the home page. And all of the assignments for week one are here. You have a few assignments to do. Okay. And when you submit work, for example, you have the program one, there's going to be a button here to the right that says submit work. There are two ways you can do it. Um, if you're working on a file, you would click here and just locate that file and submit it or you can just copy and paste like I asked you to do before the text there and submit that text to me okay all right and I believe that covers everything concerning the course and as things come up I will create additional videos to share with you um, what the concerns are so the day you have a quiz you need to take go ahead and take that quiz Okay, and let's continue with our lecture. All right, so today we're going to talk about variables and types, variable types. Okay, last week we created a simple program that simply printed the string, hello world, to the screen. Today we're going to talk about enhancing that program. Uh, by using variables. So let's kind of talk about what variables are. A variable is a named location that stores a value in the computer's memory. Variables kind of operate similarly to variables in algebra. You know, if a equals 3, x equals y, things of that nature. Um, variables exist in many different forms that we call types. And for right now, I'm just going to talk about just two of the types, two of the several types in, in Java programming strings and uh, int. String are characters like we worked with last week and ints are whole numbers. They're not negative numbers, they're whole numbers. Um, and they're not decimal numbers, they're whole numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. To store a value, you have to create a variable. Since the values we want to store are strings, we declare that new variable as a string. So to declare a variable, we type in the syntax here string Bob okay and you have to use a capital S there so string Bob declares a variable Bob of type string okay 
and let's say if I wanted to actually use numbers I would use the keyword int followed by the name of that variable hour and I want you to notice here that int always uses a lowercase uh, letter to begin uh, that keyword if you type anything other than that in the compiler you will get an error so if you try to type a capital I or a lowercase s for string you will get an error okay so these are examples of declaration statements now before I can actually use a variable I need to give it a value for it to be useful to me um, and we do that by using what's called assignment statements assignment statements okay and this is the form of an assignment statement we have the variable here Bob this is the assignment operator there and this is the string this is the value that I am assigning to the variable Bob and again like last week whenever we're dealing with strings remember we always have to use quotation marks okay now if I wanted to use integers numbers here hour is the name of that variable and 11 is the value and notice here like I shared with you last week whenever I'm dealing with numbers I don't have to have quotation marks if I don't want them to be a string and if I'm wanting to use those numbers in operations okay all right so this is the example program from last week again and if I wanted to use a variable here it would look like this okay so I would declare it here string Bob I would assign hello world to Bob, so the value hello world to Bob. Bob, so now Bob has a value. And then instead of having the string hello world appear here, I can just simply substitute that string with the variable Bob. And so wherever the computer sees Bob, it's going to print the value for Bob, hello world. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and enhance the program that we worked on last week. Okay, so here we are. We are in our Java editor and this is the basic program from last week. And so we're going to go ahead and, and enhance it by adding some additional statements okay when I run the program compile it first and then I execute the program it prints out hello world for me here now what we're going to do as we talked about I'm going to enhance this so I'm going to go ahead and declare a variable of type string and I'm going to name it Bob for no apparent reason um, but this changes to greeting because what we need to get used to is making sure that our variables have meaning this is not make variables for the sake of making them okay so typing string there that's my um, my type I'm calling it greeting and then I'm going to go ahead and assign a value to greeting so greeting is equal to hello world Okay, remember to always terminate your commands or your statements with semicolons. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this and I have no errors reported. So I'm going to go ahead and execute the program and there it is, hello world. Uh, I, I failed to do something, I'm sorry, I failed to do this. Let's go ahead and substitute greeting for hello world. And let's go ahead and compile. Again, we have no errors here. Let me go ahead and execute the program and we get hello world. So you see the difference here? Um, I went ahead and declared a variable of type string, called it greeting, assigned the value hello world to greeting, and printed it out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put this back up here, just in case some of you may be not understanding what's going on I'm going to type the string here and then below it we'll leave the variable that contains the value hello world 
Okay, so let's go ahead and compile this. Remember, every time you make a change to your program, you must compile it. To run it, I hit execute, and there it is. It prints out Hello World twice. Okay, now let's say I don't want to do that. Let's say I want to place in there Hello. I want to make some changes. Hello, my name. is and I'm going to change this and put my name there go ahead and change the order that that appears in okay so I'm going to go ahead now and execute this so it's going to print out hello my name is and then it's going to go ahead and print Robert compile it remember we always do that Go ahead and execute it. There it is. Hello world. My name is Robert. Now what if I wanted Robert to appear on the same line as hello world. My name is. What do we need to do? That's right. We go ahead and delete LN. And oh, sorry, not there. We're going to delete it here. That gets rid of the hard return. Let's go ahead and compile and execute this and there it is here it placed Robert on a different line and here it print it placed Robert on the same line okay so now what if I wanted to use a variable um, in the place of the string Robert here so what I would need to do I would create another string And I would simply place in here a uh, name. Remember, we want to make sure we get good names. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign name the value of Robert. Okay. And here I'm going to take out the string Robert. And I'm going to place in the name, the variable name. Let's go ahead and compile that. Go ahead and run it. There it is. Hello world, my name is Robert. So, so far we have successfully replaced the strings with the variables. Now there's one thing we need to always do, and we didn't do it yet. As you are coding, please place comments here, okay? Um, so it can be simple statements, declares, variable greeting and assigns hello world to it okay and you can do the same thing here so let's get into the habit of doing that so from now on whenever you as you submit work to me you need to make sure you uh, have comments in your code, your source code. I spell variable wrong here. And up here, I misspelled the sign also. Okay, and then you can just place the comments here. And it's going to go ahead and write print to the screen. Okay, so print values to the screen. Okay. Hey, right, there we are. Now, what if I wanted to go ahead and use variables to perform math? Okay. So one thing I can do here, I can declare um, 
integers. Okay, I'm gonna declare number one, number two. Okay, then now I'm gonna assign values to those numbers. Number one is equal to five. Number two is equal to ten. I need to make sure I do that. Okay. Now, okay, so I have declared those values there, and now I'm going to go ahead and type this command to print it out to the screen system dot out dot print ln the sum of five times ten is okay and then I will just simply Type number one times number two. And I'm going to compile that. Execute it. And there it is. Hello, world. My name is Robert. The sum of five times ten is 50. Okay. Now, Let's talk about a few things here. We have a lot of code here. I can consolidate a lot of what I have here. Um, let's start with our declaration and assignment statements. I can go ahead and combine these to be just one line. So if I go ahead and take out that there, and copy it, and paste it there, and delete this, and I'm just going to go ahead and take that out and take this portion of that statement and place it here. Okay, and delete this white space. Now, the white space doesn't mean anything, it won't affect the program, but for readability, let's just go ahead and do this. And I can do the same thing with my assignment statements for the numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and do equals 5, and then equals 10. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and that looks correct. And let's see what happens here. Compile that. Okay, I have no errors, and when I run it, the same thing happens, so that's a nice way of, of you know, getting getting rid of some of the additional lines of code that you type. The other thing we can do here, we can combine these two lines, and I have to use the concatenation operator that we talked about last week. I will put a plus sign here and go ahead and add that, and I can delete this. Get rid of some of this white space. I'm going to compile the program. It's been compiled. I'm going to go ahead and execute it. And there it is. Hello, world. My name is Robert. The sum of 5 times 10 is 50. Or I could have simply placed that there, compile that, run it, and we get the same thing. Okay, so um, what I need for you to do today is just make sure that as I've been um, teaching and typing that you've been following along and coding in at the same time, making sure you stop and pause. And I want you to go ahead and submit this. You're going to copy this, like I showed you before. I'm going to hit copy. You're going to go ahead and locate the lecture. It's not here yet, but I will post it. And on the lecture, submit assignment and just paste it and this one's going to be lecture two okay all right if you have any questions please uh, be sure to contact me 
and enjoy your day. Thanks.